Okay, in this video we're going to look at use of the calculator. So, obviously you've got your scientific calculator, uh, it looks something like this. Uh, some key buttons that you're going to be using in these types of questions will be stuff like your square root sign. Okay. Notice the way whenever you press the square root sign, depending on what mode you're in, will depend how it looks. Okay. I'm in line mode at the minute. Okay. Line mode is shift mode uh, two. Okay. So that's the mode I normally keep it in. Some of you may have it in shift mode one, which would be math mode. Okay, and whenever you press the square root sign, it'll come up like that. Okay, a lot of students prefer it that way, um, but just make sure that you're doing it um, in the right manner. Okay, uh, so shift mode two. I just keep it in line mode, it's quite old fashioned. Uh, let's have a look at um, some of the other buttons. So you've got the square root button, you've got the cubed button there, you've got the squared button, and you've got the power button there. Uh, you'll probably be using your brackets here and here. Uh, and they're the ones that you're going to be using quite a lot, and also your operations here, and decimal point and so on. So let's have a look at a question. So these are a couple of example questions here. So first one, 0.4, uh, sorry, 4.5 divided by 0.6 squared. So if I was doing that personally, I would do um, 4.5 divided by 0.6 and then squared. So you've got 4.5 divided by 0.6 squared, and press equals. And that would be your answer, 12.5. Okay, uh, let's have a look at another question. It says, this one says, find the value of uh, 1 divided by the square root of 1,225, given your answer to three decimal places. So again, this time I'd do 1 divided by uh, the square root. Now notice the square root sign opens up brackets there. So whenever I'm finished typing in my number, I automatically close brackets. So 1,225 close brackets and then whenever you do that you get your answer and then you would write that down to three decimal places so um, I personally by the way would write out the whole display anyway first and then I would round it to three decimal places so to three decimal places it would be not point not uh, two and then because it's an eight but there's a five after it the five will make the eight round up so it'd be not point not two nine and that would be your answer to three decimal places uh, let's have a look at another question, something a bit more complicated. Okay, we're going to do 8.2 plus 8.7 divided by 4.1 times 2.5, and that's all squared. Now, whenever you're doing this, don't try and type this in as it is in the calculator. Don't just do 8.2 plus 8.7 divided by, because your calculator automatically uses bod mass, so you've got to be careful. If you've got a large divide by sign like this, and you've got two or more than one thing on the numerator, I'd highly recommend using brackets. Okay, now well, either using brackets or doing it out separately. Okay, so what I mean by that is you could do 8.2 plus 8.7, press equals, and then write the sum out again and do 16.9 divided by, and then working out in bits. So then the next part would be 4.1 times 2.5, so 4.1 times 2.5 equals 10.25, so you've got 10.25 squared. Then doing the squared, okay, so doing 10.25 squared equals uh, 105.0625. So then writing it out again, do 16.9 over um, 105.0625. And then finally, typing that into the calculator, 16.9 divided by 105.0625. And then that's your answer. Okay, so that's one way I you could do it. You do the top line. Do the bottom line, and then finally divide the top line by the bottom line. Now, if you want to do it in one go in your calculator, you just got to make sure you're using the brackets in the right places. So, you want to work out the top line first of all. So, you want to put that in brackets. So, 8.2 with brackets, the brackets are there, open it up, plus 8.7, close brackets. Now, you're going to divide that, so divide it by, and again, it's got brackets, so you're going to open up brackets and do 4.1 times 2.5 close brackets you need to make sure that you're closing brackets before pressing the squared if you press the squared before closing brackets if i delete and press squared there your calculator would just square the 2.5 so you need to close brackets and then press squared and then press equals and then then you've got your answer okay